In agricultural news from agview.net, Kansas is celebrating Dairy Month in June, and livestock economists point out that dairy cattle continue to be a significant contributor to the commercial U.S. beef supply. According to the University of Wisconsin River Falls, ag economists say dairy animals are a consistent source of beef and continue to play a key role in filling U.S. beef demand. The dairy sector contributed 4.6 billion pounds, or 21 percent of the total pounds of beef produced in the U.S. last year. Although down from the peak of 24 percent in 2015, they say the dairy cattle contribution is still significant. Dairy animals substantially contribute to the prime beef supply as Holstein steers contribute around 21 and 60 percent of the total U.S. prime beef produced from 2002 through 2018. Well, USDA's Animal Plant and Health Inspection Service has confirmed the discovery of genetically engineered wheat plants growing in an unplanted agriculture field in the state of Washington. The GE wheat in question is resistant to glyphosate, commonly referred to as Roundup. Now, there is no evidence that the GE wheat had entered the food supply, and there are no GE wheat varieties for sale or commercial production in the U.S. at this time. And AFA says not deregulated any GE wheat varieties. Now, after previous detections of the genetically engineered wheat, USDA did strengthen its oversight of the regulated GE wheat field trials. APIS now requires developers apply for a permit for field trials involving the GE wheat, beginning those in January of 2016. So bringing GE wheat under a permit enables APIS to create and enforce some permanent conditions that ensure confinement and minimize the risk that regulated GE wheat would persist in the environment. And it's time once again to nominate you or your neighbor to serve on your Farm Service Agency County Committee. The FSA now accepting nominations for County Committee members. Agriculture producers who participate or cooperate in an FSA program may be nominated for a candidacy for the County Committee. Now nationwide, more than 7,700 dedicated members of the ag community serve on FSA county committees. Those committees made of 3 to 11 members typically meet once a month. Members serve three-year terms also. Now organizations, including those representing beginning women and minority producers, also encouraged to nominate candidates. The nomination forms for the 2019 election need to be postmarked or received in the local FSA office by August 1st. Election ballots will be mailed to eligible voters beginning on November the 4th. That's Ag News. We'll have more coming up.